Hello, love bugs. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. So this is going to be a short twin flame reading for those who are in little to no communication, especially for those in separation. All right, we're going to get into the Divine Love and Separation deck, the one I created. The link to my Etsy shop is in my bio. Let's go ahead and get started here. Spirit, what are the messages for my lovers in separation, please? What do they need to know? What do my lovers in separation need to know? Thank you. Get a few of them. That is a big old stack that I will not grab yet. Ooh, look at the pattern on that. Interesting. So first one we have is reminder. It says, remember that love is not jealous nor boastful. So I'm not sure if jealousy got in the way of your guys' connection or there could be um, a jealousy thing going on here between your partner and you, perhaps they're taken or they're with a, a karmic partner or they see you independent and they're jealous of that <laughs> or they get a little triggered by, you know, your independence or it could just be so many things and spirits like, look, that could become a, a huge issue in your, in your divine connection because it's like you need to learn how to overcome those jealousy issues, okay? So whether it's you or your partner or both of you guys. So the second card we have here, it says, time apart is teaching me how to be okay with being alone. So for those who are struggling with codependency issues, for those who are like not used to not be okay being alone and always felt like you needed somebody, um, to feel complete or, you know, f putting your, getting your shit together. You know what I mean? It's like time apart. It's also teaching you how to be okay with being alone and also helping you detach from those codependent tendencies that either you have or they have. We also have confidence. It says our connection will never be broken. So somebody in this connection is very, very confident enough to see and know that, you know what, it doesn't matter if you're with someone, it doesn't matter how much time apart we, we, you know, we have been, it doesn't matter how long it's been, you know, I'm confident enough to know that no matter what, our, our love will never be broken. Our red string of fate will never be broken. So whether you're the more confident one or they are, but this is a very, this is actually a very positive um, card to have here. So it says, I am honored to have loved you. Um, so it could be that either this is you or your person. Okay. But somebody is very, very honored to have love. To, let's say you're honored to have loved them because, you know, maybe you thought that you would never be with someone like that. They could be someone in the public eye. They could be somebody very, um, how do I say it? Unique in their own way. And you just want them to know, look, I'm honored to have loved you. I don't care. I mean, we do care if we're with them, if we end up with them and everything. But it's like, look, if our time is in the next lifetime or whatever, and the little time that we had in this lifetime, I am honored that I got to have that time with you because not a lot of people get to be with their twin in, in this lifetime at all. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm honored to have loved you and been able to hold you and kiss you and caress you and F you. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and get some cards from my Love and Lust Oracle. All right. Messages for Love and Lust. Let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. Wow. Interesting. So we'll start with this one. It says, the moment you've been waiting for has finally arrived. Your love interest is about to confess their love to you. Oh, my God. So... <laughs> interesting look if you have been waiting for your person maybe this is your time maybe it's your time to come together with them the moment you've been finally waiting for right your love interest is either going to open up to you and confess how they feel about you and that could open the door to you guys meeting each other and coming into union or it could just be that you're finally going to hear from them and they're going to finally open up about how they felt this whole time. And then the second one we have here, it's a little bit more sexual. Okay. It says, the thought of you does things to me. The visions I get in my head turns me on. I have to touch myself. 
heart racing, lip biting pulsations as the thought of us effing consumes me into ecstasy. So I feel like this is coming from a feminine perspective right now. It can come from both. Yes, of course. But obviously, you know, if when you're in separation, you and you don't sleep around and you keep yourself clean and you're not out there being a hoochie mama, you know what I mean? It's like, just the thought of being intimate with your person, it just turns you on. The things that run through your head, it, you just can't help but want to touch yourself. So that is why this card is here because a lot of you guys have been sexually triggered just by thinking of your person, especially when you're in the bathtub or especially right before bedtime and you know, you're just resting and you're relaxing and you know, wild thoughts run through your head. So. All right, so let's go ahead and get, let's get another one here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a big old stack. Okay, it says you have a deep hunger for your beloved. They have been away for far too long. The cravings have been getting stronger and soon you will have to hunt for their love. Yeah, it's exactly. So your cravings for them have been so strong lately that you're like, look, if you don't come soon, I'm going to have to hunt your ass down. But as you can see here, <laughs> you're obviously going to get one communication or two you're going to get the opportunity to see them in person so that these cravings and these insatiable cravings that you've been having can finally be fulfilled and your hunger can finally be you know <laughs> fulfilled yay for whoever this is for oh my god dude okay so it says i'm not the okay this is your person your person is not the type to tell you that they love you instead they show it with their actions they want to spoil you in every way shape and form talk is cheap and actions speak louder than words dude so what i'm getting from this is if the if the moment you've been waiting for because look the, he comes with roses and as you can see here she's receiving those roses so instead of him saying look i need something to tell you Instead, their way of confessing their love is either showing up, either like communicating, say, look, I want to see you. I have something to show you. Or I have, I, I want to give you something. And you, it goes off from there. You just never know. So a lot of times, you know, men are not really good with communication. I mean, I know some women aren't either, but like, if this is the type of person that's, you know, talk is cheap, they rather just show it with their actions and surprise you. So wow pretty exciting and pretty pretty interesting all right so let's go ahead and get some tarot cards my opium twin flame tarot let's see what comes through for you <laughs> the prince of swords so you know they're watching Okay, you know, they're keeping an eye on you through either through social media, they're keeping, they're watching you, they're keeping tabs or waiting for the p perfect moment. Okay, for some of you guys, maybe perhaps you've already heard from them, you've already seen them, you guys got freaky deaky, whatever the case is, is like they still desire you, they're still, you know, and now that they see that you're doing good or, or, or whatever it is that you're doing, it's like, okay, I'm gonna make my move, it's a perfect time, yada, yada, yada. We also have the five of wands here. So the five of wands here is what I'm what I'm picking up is that there's going to be a lot of passionate energy. There could be a lot of build up, right? A lot needs to be released, whether it's sexually, emotionally. Uh, maybe you guys had a fallout before and that's going to be resolved. You know what I mean? Especially if there's the jealousy card here is like reminder love is not jealous and it's telling you look if you guys were fighting before due to jealousy you need to work on that right especially if they're watching you or if you saw something and they saw something and you got blocked or they got blocked because you know people they were hitting you up or you were hitting them up about like who the fuck is this bitch or whatever and it's like that became an issue look there's a lot of passion yes you will get triggered but work on that jealousy Okay, because you don't want that to ruin something that's, that could be very, very beautiful. Look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. 
the I call it the do you trust me Aladdin card when <laughs> you know he grabs Princess Jasmine's hand this is the offer right this is the stable offer and it could be them coming through with this offer and you receiving it you see that let's get one more see what comes through I'm also hearing they're ready for commitment for whoever this is for. This one wanted to come out. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so with the Three of Pentacles here, they're ready to make things work with you. They're gonna tr they want to find a way to make things work. Whether you guys live long distance, whether it's a freaking commute to get to one another, it's like they want to they want to be able to make things work with you. It's like work with me and I'll work with you. What is it that you want? What is it that you need? How can we make this work together? This is collaboration. For some of you guys, you're destined to work together and 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 make magic happen in the world. Like, let's say if they're musicians and perhaps they're really good with instrument and you got the voice. And then your music together heals people, raises the vibration, the frequency of the planet. It can be many things. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this message like I did. It was a beautiful message. If you guys want to book a personal reading, all that is down below. And the link to my Etsy shop is in my bio to purchase my tags. Bye, guys.